say no, as... but he has never been able to interpret any scripture the way it has been. All interpretations are bogus. Okay. Into they are for, flimsy okay. and empty. Beautiful. And Matthias, so, yeah. at the end of the day, into, no... Into, for instance, any interpretation is no one who has to back and say, wait, you're bogus. No, when wait, I do that, flimsy. I'm going to teach him. But he has to come to the right place for teaching. <sighs> That's the very simple thing. In the middle of, of, of such a beautiful discussion, yes. I will be trying to say the interpretation is bogus and yes. flimsy. Now I'll yes. prove it. No, because no, of, no because of, because of, uh, sorry, I tell you, no, 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 you see, I uh, have uh, unfortunately for us, you read the message. But if you go onto the platform to go and read, mm -hmm. the, 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 the common sense family people of mm -hmm. Avram, who are very loyal to him and they follow him, they are, they are, com they are uh, communication is not to learn regularly to insult so all of them need teaching people be about the righteous messenger way you know how to represent or the past one more time and you know i would like to take this opportunity to welcome to the righteous messenger youtube channel i'm on for today Charlie, we come here i remember we said then you know counselor lutherot you know counselor Luther, them go crush or them go clash the ding ding for one FM for Gandhi, they call them more okay FM. I should say they call it okay FM. I write it down. Let me see. It be okay FM. Yeah, so them go cross for a okay FM and challenge amount for you know be small. Yeah. Them talk about all them whole discussions concerning you know a few things in on religion, you know. Them talk about contradictions in the Bible. Um, they talk about Numbers 23, 19, if you know what I'm talking about, the story of David and Bathsheba, you know. They talk about whether it's necessary to go to church or not, you know. And, you know, also, is it justified, you know, to, to, to insult people using the Bible? Because a lot of preachers, you know, do this a lot, you know, because they say it's insults in the Bible. They preach and you know they just insult like even counselor Lutra was doing on the show he was being insulting to Avram Bemoshe if you don't know Noah, Avram Bemoshe is the founder and leader of you know Ghana's biggest uh, free thinking or anti-religious movement called CSF for short or common sense family and counselor Lutra who be counselor Lutra Councillor Lutra to be a uh, radio, TV, you know, relationship counsellor. He's a reverend minister as well and is known for his controversial messages or utterances. Hey, Councillor Lutra, Daniel B. Onabuwa! Hey, Councillor Lutra! Oh! No, Lenke Baha, Onabuwa, Chon. Hey! Shatawale Poba! Chale shi o na bune wa ja ke shi chale o ba ni no ke ba wo egbe ga fo ye ga chale ga fo mi ye kansla lutrot ma o tri shi chale da ne gidi 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 mi ni ewo yo chale o ba yu e gba 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 at the end there chale o na no ko ke je mi o ye ye ma mi ke ye ye ani bi nshe Mm. Cause la lutro a kenke ma yo sani e chale. Video me beni ta ma fe le. Ye ma fe le na kapo. Mm. O ba bi a yo wa wa yue ni ni o ka fa mu se yue ni chale. O fe mistakes bi e ni. Mm. Ni wo yo bi e si chale mi na ka sa lutro te chale sa ji yo he. Sa ji yo he. For man for basically this counselor lutro the talk say you know Avram be moshe is bankrupt intellectually and Abraham Moshe no know nothing if it comes to interpretation of the Bible why because he say you need spiritual understanding to understand the Bible or to accept contradictions in the Bible I'm on for you see the thing we say if you think about it critically the Bible is just a book and I'm on for ISF say them say that the, 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 the meaning of the word Bible in English in book uh it's a book you know and it's a book with alphabets that makes uh, 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 um words words that form sentences and sentences that form stories 
you know, how is this book, Black and White Bible, yeah, different from any other publication? Huh? I they beg, oh, they ask. It says spiritual understanding. You ask these same people, what is the meaning of spirit? What is a spirit? That? Chale? Then they make confusion make basa. They will go wrong, 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 wrong. What is a spirit? You know? And them way, Charlie, them get a spiritual understanding qualification self. A man for. We do show them the contradictions in the Bible. Show us why this contradiction is there to her. They know if you explain the contradiction. And if you justify why these contradictions are there. You know, and just that they go talk, say, oh, it's a human error, translation mistakes. And then at the same time, they will talk, I say, all scriptures are inspired by God. Oh, Charlie, that's the truth. Charlie, 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 Charlie. You see, because we're looking at all school, eh? You be educated guy, Councillor Lutrot. You didn't follow this book. They make yourself sound illiterate. How they tell you, Councillor? You know, because the way I see the thing, if it comes to social or relationship issues, Charlie, yeah, Charlie, more times you talk non fa or Charlie, nonsense. Eh? Nini John Bem on the beginning of you know the video, you know, way Abraham and Kazlaritra go meet, go discuss, I'll have them a discussion, you know. I was really, you know, impressed with the kind of charity work way Kazlaritra they do, they feed people, you know, they give them information concerning health, family planning and all this. It's good, it's a good look, you understand? And we appreciate that, yeah. As humanitarians, we appreciate that, we love that, you know, and we love Councillor Lutro for that, you know. But the thing we say, the question is, can't you do charity without adding religion to it? Huh? Can't you give somebody something without saying it's God that prompted you or, you know, if, you know, that to give that thing to that person? How do you ask, oh, because... During the discussions, you know, then Abraham Bushir can talk say, look, like people shouldn't go to church or you know, he's got his own thing that he's doing on Sundays to stop, you know, his followers from going back to the church. And the presenter was asking, or the host was asking that look, what's wrong with going to church? Because, you know, the church has helped us in some ways, or the church has been beneficial to us in certain ways, like you know, building churches and hospitals. You see, which we accept is a good thing that the church is building hospitals and schools. But one question is, these hospitals and schools, are they free? They go for free. You didn't understand. But Charlie, these same people with them bring us this religion. You know? They can build the, these hospitals through the churches and the schools through the churches. Why, you know, are they charging us to use the same things which are free in their countries? Mm? Because if you were the whole stock way at the ASCO and one, you know, problem I have is, you know, the church does not pay taxes. So if you take me say the church they do charity or the church they build schools or hospitals and that, you know, to me it doesn't justify anything because the church does not pay taxes. And when I say that it means we don't we don't know the takings of the church. When people go there and pay tithes and offerings and you know donate money and you know pay any form of you know money to the church we don't know how much these churches are making yeah so if they go build hospital or schools or this you know making a spring out and giving back to the people what, what shows that they are giving a fair share of what they are taking to the people you see, the government needs to go into the churches, you know, look at what what, what, what what money these churches are taking, tax it, and then use that tax to do something for the people. Or if the churches won't do this themselves, we must know how much they are taking. 
so that if they say we've done this and that and that we could say fine you've given the people back what they give to the church you know other than that it's like me righteous mission i guess i just go think say look these people are taking money from the people keeping the lion's share and just giving them a little drop of what they are contributing to the church i'm on for oh look look at these pastors some of them have uh, 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 private jets, not one, not two. Some have three more, you know, luxurious cars, you know, you know, big mansions. And look at the church members. And you telling me that the church is doing charity? The church is building schools and hospitals? I'm not for, you see, sometimes they talk uh, more... You, we shouldn't just defend religion and you know the church you know we have to look at things from a critical point of view and that is what Avram Bemeshe is doing and for you see so basically what are the top say like the church they do charity and we talk say you know the church is good because the church gives back to the people but a man for you see for me, you no, know, I think say the church is keeping the lion's share of the takings that go into the church. One. Secondly, they're doing this charity just to cover their backs. I'm out for yes. They're doing it to cover their backs because really, really, if you go into the religious books, it's saying that there's a God that has power and is capable of doing everything. You know, there's power in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus can heal and all that. Why do we need hospitals? You see, but I don't even want to go down that line. You see, Avram Bemoshe debunked what the host said, you know, with his fish and uh, the hook line analogy. Saying that, look, you put bait on the hook and give it to the fish, not because you want to feed the fish, you know. It's because you want to catch the fish. So basically, what would they try to be say? These churches they do this charity and good deeds, these so-called good deeds, because they want to catch or draw more members into the church. More members or more congregation means more offerings and tithes. More offerings and tithes means more money for the pastors or the so-called prophets. Among for you see, watch, watch the, 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 the the discussions. You know, I will leave the link. Of the video in my you know description you know box for this video and you see the team we say counselor Lutrot who claims to have this spiritual understanding qualification he could not even answer why God killed an innocent child yeah instead of killing the 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 the, the, the guilty uh, uh, corporate yeah he made david leave and kill the child who is innocent if you watch the video you go understand what at the top concerning king david and Bathsheba. you know the child that came out of that you know affair was killed by god to punish david i mean what's the sense in this but we talk about the talk say we need spiritual understanding you know and then he will go on and say oh avram bomoshe is who doesn't have intellectual <laughs> he's intellectually bankrupt oh charlie lutrot I, i'm not sure see you, 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 you believe what you're saying that avram Boshe is spiritually bankrupt no sorry intellectually bankrupt but he says intellectually bankrupt when it comes to spiritual understanding for spiritual understanding too uh, and the team be say me and they say counselor Lutra they run away from debate yeah because he talks say Charlie if it is useless or pointless it's a waste of time to debate to debate with Avram Bemoshe but I'd rather go and debate with Kum Chacha <laughs> Kum Chacha on set party Kum Chacha you, you won't go debate with Kum when you go learn debate with Kumchacha, seriously, Kazla Rutrot, what are you going to learn? 
debating with Kum Chacha. You see, like the thing I see, we say with religion, we just want, or religious people just want people who, you know, how do you call this thing? You see, who will just support what's in their books and their religious rituals? You, they just, they're just looking for validation. So whoever will, 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 will give them that validation concerning their religion, their religious rituals, and what's in their books, yes, that person is your friend. The day will be you, you start challenging the religious books or rituals or whatever, you know, the church that person goes to start saying something like in that church friendship is gone you know but the thing we say we should be able to challenge each other intellectually and still you know have that relationship you know as friends as family actually some families you go inside that some two people know they talk just because of football they belong to two different teams <laughs> Anyway, anyway, Kasla Lutrot. I like Kasla Lutrot. What? I like Kasla Lutrot. Hey, Nabuwa. Hey, Nabuwa again. Tomo wele. Oh, I not say Kasla Lutrot be Reverend Minister. He be Reverend Minister Bachali. I de beg, just stick to social and relationship, you know, matters. Because when it comes to religious matters, when it comes to what's in these religious books. You can't challenge Abraham. You can't stand toe to toe. Because Lalo Trot, advise yourself because, you know, the thing we say, you, you, I'm not saying Kansla Lutro be educated guy, yeah, but because of the intellectual potency or capacity of Abraham the Moshe when it comes to these religious matters, he doesn't want to debate him. Charlie, if this was a real real debate, because <laughs> Lalo Trot, you are you free? You, you don't go free stand Moshe toe to toe. That one there, yeah. Charlie, you have to accept it, Lutrot. You can't stand the guy. Somebody will waste in time, yeah? Bury himself in these books. <laughs> you won't go challenge him. You, you're fighting a losing battle. And they say, Charlie, don't get into a fight that you know you won't win. Lutrot. Yeah. To me, you know, yeah, this God miracles, angels, and this spiritual things you guys talk about only exist in the book. It's story. There are stories in the book because you can't prove it. There's no evidence, you know, for these stories in this book. Kansla Lutrot, Charlie, don't come put that for an eye, they talk, see, everything, they talk sometimes, oh, we did, Charlie, you be lab technician, no, lab technician, he will take hospital matter, can, you know, justify Bible matter, oh, Charlie, the hospital and the medical, you know, you know, the surgical operations where they go on there, no, Charlie, you think, say, the person where, the people, all the people with them help be, you know, to develop this thing. They, they believe in God. Would they do that? They go, they, they go, they go free, you know, you know, you know, make medicine and, you know, you know, they do surgery, you know, you know, give us medical treatment. The people with them free come out with these solutions to, to our health problems. If they really, they believe this, your God. We won't have these solutions to these health problems. Councillor Lutrot. Mm. Another thing we I want to talk to you about or I remember for the, the, the video inside we say Lutrot the talk say CSF members or you know members of the common sense family are disrespectful, you know, especially when it comes to comments on social media. But the thing we say, you know, Councillor Lutrot as well into it they love to insult. You see, oh, and it, 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 it's rude. Even sitting there implying that Abraham Bemuchi is intellectually bankrupt, you know, it's rude. They talk, say, Abraham Bemuchi's interpretations are bogus and flimsy. Oh, Charlie, we know. Charlie, oh, you know, 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 Charlie, you know, 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 you know
in the top say Charlie interpretations are flimsy and bogus. If his, his interpretations were flimsy and bogus, it'd be so easy for every anyone to disprove him. But because what he's saying is logic and reasoning and makes sense with reality, it's hard for you guys to disprove him. You know, you won't go debate Kuchacha <laughs> Mom. Oh, about four. Yeah. Like, I will talk again. Yeah, the host was very good. Halifax, Halifax, he'll be a good host. Yeah. And I'm out for. I will love the end for here, but Charlie, before I go end, Charlie, I'm out for. Before I go end, I'm out for one talk, say, Charlie. Cancer Luther no child things. Cancer Luther knows a lot, but he's still missing the key. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to be the righteous person in your way. I can't pass through once again. And, you know, thanks for viewing the video.